Welcome to another episode of Global Nerds Podcast, where you get all your nerdgasm shit counted, looked at, revered. What's another vocabulary that I could use out there? Searched. We're here. You got the five guys. We're going to talk. We're not the burger stand. No pet boys. We're going to get into some topics. How y'all fellas doing this morning? Doing Great. Okay. okay. <laughs> Exhausted. I know what you mean, exhausted. I know, I know. These allergies has been kicking my ass this entire week. Yeah. Allergies to the cold, yeah. <laughs> I know, I'm out here in L.A., and it's the first time we have, like, literal bipolar weather. It's 48 degrees, then three hours later, it shoots up to 80 to 90, then it goes back down to 50. Like, yeah, it's it's not a good week. Wait, that's enough, Global that's warming! <laughs> Make up your mind. I can't sleep either. Because I'm up here dying. Ugh. I'm about to morph. Just to get your get your bipolar out of weather, man. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, fellas, man, how y'all week been before we get into this first topic? <clears throat> It's doing all right. Week's been okay. Week's been okay. Busy, 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 as they say. Yeah, I'm all, I'm just busy. Same old. Nothing. Always oh, busy. <laughs> yeah. uh, Crazy week. <laughs> Crazy week up till Thanksgiving, and then uh, it's like I got an early Christmas present the next day. What'd you get? My roommate left. Oh. And I moved my setup in one night. <laughs> this man was like, hold on, my room's free? Yes. Right. All right. I ain't mad at yeah. I ain't mad at it. It, it was a definite need to get done. Uh, and now that it's done, I can relax. And it's a much better <laughs> setup because I can relax more after the craziness that was before Thanksgiving where we – prepped for a Saturday uh, rush and our entire rush was gone by 5 o'clock. Oh, for work? Yep. Yeah, I don't know about that rush. I ain't been to work in two days. That's crazy. But uh, what else is crazy? Scream 7. I don't know what they're going to do with that film franchise. First of all, Scream 6 was supposed to come out with Neve Campbell. They didn't want to pay her, so she left. Then they introduced a new star, which is, you know, Jenna Ortega and her sister. And the way it left off in the film, she was a fan favorite. And now they don't want her to be a part of the number seven movie because, you know, she's in America. She stayed in her own free speech and all that shit. So that gets you canceled with the Hollywood, apparently. So she's out. And then Jenna Ortega came up with this thing with her team. and was saying, that, oh, no, she was never going to be a part of Scream 7 due to her conflict of schedule. Like, y'all knew that months ago, but no. Seems she just left because she's in solidarity with her sister on screen, so she's out. So now they won't need Campbell to come back. Now y'all back at the square wound. Now, if I was Neve, I would be like, look, y'all remember how I said I want that much money before, and y'all was going to give it to me? I need it times 10 now, because <laughs> you're going to pay me now. Like, she got all the balls in her court right now. So, Neve, I would make them pay me $35 million for this movie. Go ahead. Like, I was all over this movie. I'm done with this movie years ago. Fuck. It's a party I would make a reboot for. Man, <laughs> I don't know what they going to do now to Scream 7. They need to just let it die off at this point. That's like Saw movie. They need to die off. Too. Shit. <sighs> you know that's what happened. I didn't even think the, the franchise was still going. I thought it may have stopped when it's like, oh, we're going to have everyone come back very briefly. And then that was it. Didn't realize <clears> it was going... Uh, on all the time. Well, they don't. They don't have Shaggy Afton, um, animatronic guy coming back for it. So, <laughs> why don't they just get rid of all the people in it and just be like, right, refresh, start with a whole brand new cast? I don't know. The easiest way to fix this thing is they don't have a star. All they gotta do is be like, look, the Scream have all these copycats outside now. It's like a celebrity or whatever. So now. Random people start killing people in screen masks. That's all they gotta do. Just it's a worldwide thing. 
instead of you shooting your neighbor, you just scream my ass and do it. It's kind of like, oh, it's just the purge. <clears throat> you know, just scream like easy fix. You don't need no stars. It could be a random person that nobody knows and all that good stuff. So like, I, I bet you if uh, it was a fan film, it would do way better than the actual box office film. <laughs> of course it would. I don't know. We ain't talk about fan films. Them things suck. Even though one of them, one fan film can either have good writing, oh. not enough action. The other one can have too much action, no dialogue. There's their fan films for a reason. I mean, is that's a whole other discussion. I'm definitely not getting into that. Oh, okay, <laughs> just that's a whole that, other topic. <laughs> but are y'all interested in Scream or because some people online is like. Coming out the woodworks, like, oh, we're fans and all this good stuff, and it's like, really? Uh, I've never been a fan of it. Like, I, I remember when they first dropped, and they were really, it was a little bit different. But I think it's because of this; it's the same thing over and over and over again. I generally thought they would move on to, like, you know, after maybe Scream Three, like, be like, this is the last one, and then no, it's like, boom, let's just let's keep bringing it back. So I, I'm over it. Like, I haven't even checked out anything whatsoever. <clears throat> um. So yeah, I'm completely over it. Right. Yeah. I who knows? The last one should be the last one though. When they got the mask off the floor, out the street, where the hell was that? They should just left with right there. Like, okay, the carpenter sister, they did what they did. They kept the motherfucking and go. All right, they did what they did and just in it right there. But no, they're like, we need a screen seven. We ain't gonna finish. We need a screen seven, y'all. We're going to give you all the screen seven because the simple fact that we don't give a fuck, we just want some money. That's how it is. It, it's like Saw. You've seen the first 10, and you go, and, and I'm going to quote, uh, I forget the animator. If you've seen the other nine, you're about as sick of this crap as I am. We've seen enough of this franchise to go, okay, killer does thing, dies at the end. Oh, but we got to go into the backstory of everything in the next three movies. With going back to that first one to go, oh, yeah, it was this motivation. We don't need that in a slasher film. We had Freddy Krueger with nine films that didn't need a backstory. It just went, okay, killer did this. Now he's undead. He kills people in their dreams. Jason, he's undead. He's had a couple of movies. He's a slasher. And he was hard to kill until Jason X. Simple, clean, straight to the point. But now we have to get into storylines and stuff. It, it, it goes overboard, I would think. Well, yeah, it seemed like they was banking on this girl to be the new face of the franchise, being his daughter, you know, first serial killer daughter and her choices now. Is she going to be psychotic like him? Is she going to be like the anti-hero of the next film? Like, we don't know now. I mean, y'all fired her ass, so I don't know what they going to do. Are they going to do a backtrack and then be like, actually, shit, we need her. And then she just comes back and be like, hi, I, I, I didn't mean, you know, they, they didn't mean to fire me. I'm back now. Or is it like, that's it, a one and done type thing? That's There's true. a there's a rumor they're going for a reboot now that both stars have left. Another How much can, yeah. can you reboot one series? They can go for as many times as they like, apparently. Hmm. So they're pulling a DC. Probably, Fun. if the rumors are true. I don't know. That's all they need to do is literally, like I said, just hmm. open world it now. Instead Wait, of it people like going around killing Wednesday, people, just yeah. use the mask. Oh, my bad. I meant to talk. Damn. No, what'd you I, say? I, I was saying, uh, Brandy, they try to say Jenna was focused on Wednesday. Like, they try to pull the thing like, oh, she focused on Wednesday, so we're going to cut ties with you. It's like that type thing, as I read it. The one I show y'all, it's like, <clears throat> they try not to blame, like, it's Netflix's fault why they can film her or some shit. It's like the blame. Yeah, that, that. sounds like, that sounds like Smoke and Mirrors, where Jenna... Was probably like, nah, if you're gonna fire her off of this stupid shit, y'all might as well. I'm not coming back because that's a stupid, you know, it's a stupid reason to let her go anyway mm-hmm. in the first place. Yeah. So she bounced out too. And now to save face, they like, oh, well, schedule um, conflicts and stuff like that. I'm like, no, that's not the reason. That's not the reason at all. Oh, mm-hmm. no. 
And, and we all know Jenna's a great actor. Um, she's not my Wednesday. I'm going <laughs> to clarify that now. I don't know. But she's the only Wednesday I let waterboard win- me. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot say that girl looked like she's 12 years old. <laughs> Still. <laughs> nah. <laughs> oh, no. Scream, y'all. How y'all feel about it? Let us know in the comments because uh, if they just going to remove everybody, uh, I mean, Doogie is Dougie, whatever the fuck the cop guy name is, dead. Um, If y'all bring back Neve, it's kind of like, mm, whoa. Oh, no, moving on. What was it? Like Machiavelli. Yeah, Machiavelli. <laughs> <man. laughs> he come back. They could bring back. I'm back um, from the dead. Oh, Tupac. They, <laughs> they, could bring, they could bring back Sydney Prescott if things ever. Um, they, You know why she wasn't in the last one, right? <clears throat> yeah, we already spoke about it. They didn't mm-hmm. want to pay her. Yeah, that's that's some bullshit. But, I mean, it's kind of believable at some point. Like, you know, she's gone up against Ghostface so many times now. It's so, at a certain point, she's like, fuck off. I want to live my life. And Ghostface, he's he's nice like that, so he just hangs up the phone. Yeah. Goes so, to terrorize I, someone else. I just imagine it would get to the point where it's just like, oh, well, I've killed so many people. I'm a bit bored. And like the one person sat there and be like, all right, mate, come come sit down. Just have a cup of tea with me. Have, have, have a biscuit. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You, you'll be all right. Let's have a chat. Why are you why are you killing me today? What's what's <laughs> gone wrong with you? And it's like two hours of them just talking out the problems. And he's like, I don't uh, want to fight anymore. Puts the knife down and just walks off. <laughs> or or he you know, or, or he tried to kill, kill Kevin McAllister and ended up literally dead. <laughs> see, that's the film that people want to see. Like that's the film they really want to see. You know, none of this like rebooting it. Just go. Hey, Macaulay Culkin, you want to be on this? You're going to be exactly like you played back in Home Alone. That's what we want to see. And I reckon that <laughs> film would make millions. I, I reckon it'll be sold out straight away. Like, you know, who's going to win? Kevin or Ghostface? We all know it's going to be Kevin. Rebuild the, the McAllister house. <laughs> <laughs> no. You want you want a well, real I... you want a real death battle. Him Kevin versus Michael Myers. <laughs> Oh, that should hilarious. be screamed. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just do it. Yeah, Beth oh, we, them Bring them all in. Bring them all in. That's what we want. That's what we want. <laughs> Look, let's let's take this idea a step further. Scary movie. Five. That's the film I was actually trying to figure out what, what was the, the comedy movie of it. <laughs> Boo. Boo. Man, I'm, Boo. Man, I'm another one. I, Hell no. I I feel like I feel like they fed us well with the scream movies. Maybe too well. They did, as in may, maybe no more of those. <laughs> it's like when, whenever people say, "Like, man, we should go to the old days of filmmaking. Cinema was good back then." It's like we had bad movies then too. Do you remember the disaster movies? You want to go back to that? All right. Yes, actually, bring in Tommy Lee Jones to fight lava. I mean, oh, there you go. Come on. That'd be hilarious again. Oh, you, you talking about okay, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. What was the whole thing of that film? Was it? I know that obviously a volcano it exploded. You know, was that? It was just like them was evacuating like the city. <laughs> um, basically, uh, Los Angeles is under t- uh, very unstable tectonic plates. Um, the tar pits are the catalyst, and the center point of the volcano coming up. And they basically have to build a a wall and then realize, oh, crap, the subway tunnels are making heat tunnels for an eruption. Yeah, it's, it's a, it, you got to watch it. But the funny thing is, though, the La Brea tar pits, the little statues that they had, are actually yeah. like sinking. So kind of that like, was oh, really yeah. cool, but like no, like for real life, like for real life, for real life, like sinky. So it's like, oh shit! Uh, did did Tommy Lee fire his gun at the lava at any point, thinking it would stop it a bit? No, ah, no, it wasn't man black. I remember correctly. No, I think I showed that lava. I think I think he drove a bus into it. If I if I remember correctly, no, he didn't drive a bus into it. They shot out the tires. And flipped over okay. the bus. 
Brilliant. <laughs> Good old 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 series on the movie. I, I may I may have watched that movie a bit too much. Same with Dante's Okay, now that's the one I remember. Um, Dante's Peak. And then the with Pierce yeah, Bronson. And then the other one with the um Is that the one they were stuck in a bridge? Like they were stuck underneath the tunnel through the entire movie, Dante's Peak? Um no, Dante's Peak took place in a small town with a dormant volcano that became active. You're thinking of um uh, yeah, it wasn't the earthquake or something. They was like lot. stuck in a tunnel. They couldn't get out the tunnel. Whatever that movie is, I need to see it again. It, it's with um, uh, Stallone. I yeah, know that they had much. a ride at Universal Studios. Do y'all remember the old ass ride they had it at uh, yeah. Universal? Studios? Oh, I know that ride. Yeah. yeah. Oh, not flashback. Fuck y'all. <laughs> this should be live. <laughs> what is the name of this movie? Something had to do with fire, but anyway, it probably from my mind after the episode. Uh, nope, nope. You're you're getting it. You're clicking in my head. It's I'm going to say you know fire what? Theory. It, it's fire. What's so that ride fire at Universal Studios called Flashback? <laughs> if I'm, if I'm right going to help now. you, if I'm going to help you figure this out, I'm going to get some coffee first. Brb. Oh. <laughs> Universal Studios. Okay. Uh, Hollywood. Old fire ride. What is it called? It's a it's called, it's an earthquake. <laughs> Daylight. Backdraft. Backdraft. Yeah, that's backdraft. Backdraft. <laughs> yeah, I'm like shit. Literally, I was it's looking called... at the old '90s stuff of Universal. Man, yeah, this, this movie is called Backdraft, and that's what the movie was based on. Okay, it was stuck in my head. I had I had to talk about it, but that shit. Was well, a great film. We don't have movies like that anymore, like at all. Got, gotta make it, yep, yep, that's mm, another one. Gotta make it CGI. <laughs> yeah, I, I really like the old '90s uh, disaster movies because they they actually felt real. And believe it or not, Amy Jo Johnson was in Who's one. On? Uh, I own it. I do know she was in. Uh, is it Point Blank or Point Break? Where she's like off script. That's like a TV show. Yeah. Oh, Flashpoint. Flashpoint. Yeah. Now that's actually pretty good. She she was great in that. Right. I I think she directed some of those episodes too. Yeah. Well, let's go have a look at Amy Jo Johnson's um thing that she was in. So yeah, she's Magma. Magma volcanic oh, yeah, disaster. Yeah. Wait, and she was a cop too. Yeah, Shit, Damn, she's know. and apparently a patient in the ER that I somehow she's missed. Been in quite. To be fair, she's been in quite a few things. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. What was she recently in? The has been meets in waves, space and time. Um, there you go. It's, uh, hmm. Bit of a flamography right there. Camera. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not much. She's been in a fair few things. Anyway, next topic. Carrying on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. We got a few to choose from. Um, I'll pick one. Game of the year. Let, let, let's do Google and YouTube versus ads. Because that should be a quick one. Um, YouTube is... Put in ad block. Uh, <clears throat> um, annoyances in their encryption. So if you have an ad blocker, it will disable your account within three what videos. The fuck? Well, I mean, okay, yep. I can understand them not wanting a person to use ads because basically that's how the content creator, video maker gets their monetization so i get it but at the same time i as a consumer i like to watch youtube videos i'll probably watch that more than anything like netflix or anything like that i hate when you're getting into a video and in five seconds in you get a minute ad that you can't skip then you watch another 30 seconds then a 30 second clip ad comes in do you watch another 15 seconds it's like we bombarded by ads so 
Right. Can I please get rid of these fucking ads and y'all just pay these people? Well, I think that's that's the reason why they've introduced um, was it like YouTube Premium, so you can like not have adverts. But also, a lot of people are thinking about creators. But if you also imagine how much like power, energy, storage that every single, I mean, like YouTube video, like takes up on on space. Like we just think it's like just uploaded and and there it is. But it's got to go somewhere on servers, and they can't delete past videos because then people are like, oh my god, they're deleting old videos. But again, like yeah, from a creative point of stance, it's like yeah, we all get paid because of that. Um, but I, I understand that it, it can be annoying. Like it, it's it's a beautiful day when you get a forty eight minute advert. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> now, now the flip side to this is yeah, I I want to support my creators. I don't mind watching ads to support a creator, but I want it to be from the creator, not. I know my ads. Don't interrupt my if video. If it's maybe three ad breaks through the video, not 5,000 for a six minute video. Because if I'm going to watch Mark play uh, uh, Demon Souls for hour, for two and a half hours, I'm going to watch Mark play Demon Souls for two and a half hours. But that's the thing <laughs> with ads, it's not going to be two and a half hours. It's going to turn it's, into it's five going, hours. Because like four. Of fucking ads. Like, I hate them damn things. Uh, I thought y'all control the ads. But, we y'all play in the game. So, y'all don't? Some of them, you can't even skip them uh, now. It says video will continue after ad break. And they're literally like 10 minutes of ads. And I'm just sitting there like, really? <laughs> I lost interest. So I don't want to watch this video. Exactly. And they're not. <laughs> the thing is, YouTube, exactly. y'all. Yeah. YouTube, listen to me. They're not even relevant to the video. I could literally be watching a video on the Ford Mustang. Why the fuck am I getting a Nair hair removal ad? <laughs> an ad in Spanish talking about pupusas or something. And then the third ad, I'm getting something in Bollywood. Like India, what the hell does that got to do with a four month name? Please, in order. <laughs> hey, and, and of course, <laughs> yeah, it's literally a Bollywood movie too. coming. I'm looking like, what the hell? I don't even live out there. What's going on, bro? I got a whole, a whole ass hey. German advertisement for no fucking reason. Man, this is ridiculous. I would get taxes. <laughs> 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 and, and of course, we're we're reviewers. Oh. We're journalists on occasion. Mm -hmm. We watch long streams, and we're get and when we're getting interrupted every five minutes or every, like I just try to watch a long play, and it's like every thirty seconds another ad. That's get the hell out of who David Dog was that? (laughs) That'd be Chris. That's a uh, dog on pet sitting for Bo. He's got a demon shriek for a bark. Oh my god, that's the most random <laughs> freaky thing out there. <laughs> man, I got Bo, on, come here. Head Bo, come here. House. Bo, come here. He's not coming. All right. Uh, I mean, <coughs> dog section. <laughs> but yeah. so yes. Google plays into YouTube a lot of this and they have a thing called ad blocker plus and with ad blocker plus as soon as you download Chrome it's right there so if you want to go watch YouTube you better disable your ad blocker plus from Google I'm on funny thing is I'm using Google Chrome right now you know because it's how I use the stream thing because Safari Everything is not compatible with Safari. I want to find out, which is why it gave me a whole bunch of my headaches. But um, I don't see ad blockers. I would damn sure turn this on when I'm watching YouTube videos. <laughs> I wonder what um, I wonder what op- uh, uh, you, you, you so went silent. Dang, he cut out. Your the cat- dog got you. Hey, hey, hey! Stop. Okay, now we hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, now you're silent. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> better? better. Yeah. 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 You hear with the moans right. silent. Um, <laughs> like, I mean, with me, I use Opera GX. That's a browser that comes with a built-in ad blocker. I wonder what they're gonna what Google's gonna do about them. I don't care what you just said. Who the hell was you yelling at? 
I think it was your I was, try- I was yelling at Bo, telling him to shut up. <laughs> oh, it was just the most random thing. Shut the fuck up, man. Dogs. <laughs> Oh, he keeps ru- he I keeps running back and forth man, to the like, window. Hell. I think he wants to go yeah. out. Maybe you see a squirrel or something. Oh, <laughs> 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 no, I think we got dropped. I think he's just barking at the joggers. Oh, he's like, protecting. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe he's protecting you. Right, he's protecting the house. Like, get the fuck away! I don't, I don't <laughs> get away from maybe. this house. <laughs> Maybe he saw Batman and he got pissed off. Batman is a, is a- no, Batman, this is my house. You gotta protect <laughs> other houses. This is my house. Batman is a fast dude. Okay. Bat dog. You know. Batman, I need a window washer. Get the fuck over here. <laughs> Batman need a cop though, man. He got he need a cop sir, because he be talking like, hey, you got a oh, cop, no. sir. <laughs> <laughs> I could not. I could not deal with Batman being like a, <clears throat> a nighttime host. Like how we got Jimmy Fallon. Can you imagine if it's like Batman being a host? Welcome. To the well, I, I'm gonna throw <laughs> oh wait, I better cr- I better correct myself. Yeah, I got caught, sir. <laughs> <laughs> we have special guest Beyonce performing her song Renaissance. I'm a man. Like what? I can hand I don't like it. I can hand- Rachel! I can- Rachel! <laughs> <laughs> I can handle Batman as a late night host as long as he doesn't turn into Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. So, so, so uh, tonight's, I'll bring guest, some tonight's guest is. Um, I'll bring some, I can't fucking uh, keep a straight face. God damn it. <laughs> I'll bring some 60 shit for you guys. Space Ghost Coast to Coast. What the hell is that? Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's bad. Oh, Space Ghost. That's classic. What? That's Didn't that shit bad. come on like Boomerang? Yeah, I'm going to cartoon. Yeah, that's that's nice. Nice. I know. I still watch Him Boomerang. Him and Craig yeah. be at each other. <laughs> and Craig Craig must be playing the keyboard. She <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I never watched Space Ghost, so I'm confused. Like, is Space Ghost a real life superhero, or was he like a parody of a hero? Like, he was a parody. His- a uh, little oh, okay. of both. Okay, now I know why Bo um, is barking. Crispy is getting all that sugar and coffee. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> and not sharing no, with the... That's, no. what, that's what it is. Eating some sugar. <laughs> oh, stop it. Look at the sugar. Oh, no. Uh, why that man going on a coffee break? Let's move into <laughs> our next one. <laughs> We're going to go into game of the year because I have a few suggestions for game of the year. Currently, the year ain't over yet, but uh, Spider-Man Impact 2. Game of the year. Genshin Impact. Yeah. I just want free stuff. Like, every single year when they go, if we win game of the year, we'll give you free shit. I'm like, get, I, I don't give a shit. Just give me free stuff. <laughs> Mark, Mark wants his free <laughs> stuff. Sponsor him, Genshin. Sponsor the mark. I don't want to just have to spend money on free in- in-game currency. Fucking give me free shit. <laughs> That's Fair. what I want. Fair. Give me those free primos. That's what I want. Um, but yeah, to, to be fair, I don't know what other game I want for a game of the year. Um, I haven't picked up Honkai Star Row since its initial release, and that's sad. I haven't picked it up. To be to be fair, mm-hmm. I've I've done this. I've done the same. I got very far into it to the point where it's just like coming soon. The next update, I was like, right, I'm completely bored of this right now. Um, yeah, like, yeah, I got. I haven't played it at all either. It's it's a good game, but I also I I I feel like it needs more substance to it. Where I think Genshin, if you pick that up now, by the time that you finish all the stuff, like you know the the main storyline the next update would be there with the correct stuff and because there's so much stuff to do in the game like you can do a lot of stuff with uh honkai it's just it, it's a very linear like here's a to b you go here genshin's like <laughs> you can, can do what the fuck you like guys like you yeah. can play this game you can do whatever and i think honkai needs to do it but also genshin's uh the guys who have made genshin are releasing another game and I'm just like, whoa, hold your horses there, boys. You still got quite a few things to go. What the you hell? You know what? These type of <laughs> games like Battle of Arena or what's the MMO game that everyone be playing? Uh, uh, not Arena of Battle, but oh, fuck. Final Fantasy 14. No, it's a mobile game. And you can play on PC as well. What, Soul Calibur? No, okay. Y'all know no, how we got Pokemon yeah. Unite, but it's the like, that's a direct copy of the original game. 
Really, you're gonna bring up League yeah. of Legends in this? Yeah, <laughs> League of Legends. Okay. Yeah. You know how they have all these type of deals that they have going on, like right now, if you're in China, which I'm yeah, my China people in America, so I need you to come come, <laughs> come close, okay? I'm gonna tell y'all something. We Americans, we love Sailor Moon. Why the fuck do we not have Sailor Moon in America? Why is it only in China? Come um, on now, we need Sailor Moon as well. Uh, yes, we love Sailor Moon. Yes, Darrell. <laughs> Darrell. Yeah. You know what? I'm just gonna link it to you. Uh, I'm so I'm... mad. Like they got, I seen Chibi Moon and Sailor Moon in her internal uniform, and they're playing them and they're fighting in the battle. I'm looking like, oh, let me download this game. I done downloaded it on my phone. And I'm looking for Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon, Sailor yeah. Moon, and she ain't here. And I'm highly upset. America, come on, <laughs> Darrell. See? No, you. I'm mad. So just like with any other series, any other game, there was events. Have fun. <laughs> Let me do this. Y'all, y'all talk amongst yourselves. Uh, <laughs> this, this is when he's like, and I'm out, boys. Let you right. <laughs> um, uh, I was speaking speaking of the game of the year. I believe, like, like it, it literally just came out. I believe Wonder, like Super Mario Wonder. I believe that that is there you already go. considered yeah. game of the year already. That's uh, that's a contender, definitely. Um, what do you guys oh, think about this? The I... bootleg version of the Sailor Scouts. <laughs> Yes, yes, is your what, do you, what, do you, what do you what do you guys think of Spider Man 2 for game of the year? I, I haven't Which played one? it yet, but the gameplay, right. yeah, yes. the things I've seen, that game definitely deserves to be in the in the in the running for for game of the year. It probably won't it's in it the running, but it needs to be, it, it needs to, 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 to be up there. We got, we got it's, in, it's, in, it's in the it's being voted for, it's in there. Um I don't think it should win honestly it's a great game masterpiece but like it also plays it really safe and i think a game like Baldur's gate 3 that took a lot more risks and had companies actually like saying okay this raised the bar we're gonna make games of this quality i think that any game that can do that deserves the win right yeah and here's the thing role-playing games are the thing right yeah. Now. oh yeah because and so the fact that like, the star not star wars Harry Potter one legacies. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, legacies. Yeah. yeah. Again, too bad people that one need to realize controversy. Like, oh yeah, it did. It did. It's still a fire ass game though. Like I still pick, play it every once in a while. I'm like, shit, this is great. Uh, I got a question. Y'all know it's hey, y'all know it's a lot of Spider Man two games, right? We're talking about Marvel Spider Man 2, the newest one that just came out. Man, you're talking about the old ones, you're talking about this new one. Oh, <laughs> see, one. see, I don't play Spider Man because I got my Joe on the hand. The old one's great, good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I got the old one. Um, I mean, uh, they didn't even give us the pizza scene, man, right? Like, like, dun, 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 dun. like, even though I didn't play Spider Man 2, like I said, the cutscenes and stuff I saw was decent and then it was good. Um, like Chris said, they did play it very safe with this particular Spider-Man game, and they 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 could have upped the bar, especially with them introducing Venom the way they did. They could have like upped the bar to 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 like eleven and made Venom the most ruthless, heartless, anti-villain hero, whatever the fuck he was supposed to be in in, in this version of Spider-Man. Um, yeah. Ever, but 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 they 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 were playing real safe with Venom. They were playing safe with Carnage. I mean, not not Carnage. Um, well, 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 Carnage also. But even though they didn't show him, they were playing safe with Craven. From what I saw, um, they they didn't show him going after mm -hmm. the other the other villains um, in the game. They 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 talk, they mentioned off screen that he he took out this villain. He took out that villain. I'm like, so you don't have a part in there where we get to actually play as Craven and have him actually that would have been actually kill that been nice. like these villains that we did play uh, as a villain. <laughs> Um, the black big one. What the fuck is his name? Why is my main my brain not working? I'm blaming Venom? Black <laughs> you Venom. Play that Venom. Yeah, the Venom. Big, the big black one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna blame lack of sleep and sickness because <laughs> I haven't been sleeping in like two days. I ain't been to work in two days, so my brain is not working right now. Man, you but, need some coffee. 
Shit, I need something. What? What'd you? Hey, hey, Darrell, what'd you think of uh, the movie Venom Three: The Big Black One? <laughs> <laughs> I will go see. That's that. what I'm calling. That's what I'm calling Venom from now on. That's oh perfect. god. <laughs> <laughs> The big black one, man. I don't know, but Spider Man is a contender. Like you say, Gish and Impact. Um, I still say Hogwarts Legacies is up there, even though the game came out what last year. I don't know. Oh, if that game gets any award, you know that the Alphabet Soup community is gonna just wreck <laughs> the game. The thing is, if if the, if there wasn't any like if people didn't try to cancel that game, guarantee it probably would not even be up to the whole point of um like game of the year like yeah what happens if like i mean i don't see anyone complaining about harry potter lego or going after any of the other games it's just this one thing that they thought let's attack and go for and it massively backfired i get that people wanted to to say no to it but man like all you had to do was just ignore the shit out of it and it would probably not have done anything near close to to what it's done now like right yeah. Um, shoot, I mean, oh. and, and to be honest, like we've said before, you're freaking out over a game. Is it killing anyone? No, it's not. But you again, people have to be buy the game. People it's have to be outraged people. about something. You know, they just if they can't be raging on the internet, <laughs> then they're gonna <laughs> die or something. Like I don't understand. Like I mean, I get. And, and I'm... Well, they did say Pokemon Go was killing people. No, I'm just kidding. Crispy, we don't <laughs> want to see your cakes. No, I mean, no. we're getting robbed playing, playing. I'll playing plug Pokemon in that. Go, but, but, but that was about it. <laughs> it was real life. Actually, Pokemon uh, was for a while because of Lavender Town. Oh, yeah. That, that whole controversy years and years ago. When Pokemon first came out. It, it was a specific tune in Lavender Town, if I remember correctly. Oh, I yeah, I, Pokemon. I, I, I forgot Pokemon. You, you came that, out. That, that, yeah, I, I, I think I know what you're talking about, Ty. It was, it was like a certain like melody in Lavender Town that would cause people to, to like have seizures or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yo, Phil. That was a stupid um controversy that 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 came up. Yo, Phil. Yo. Yo, lights is confusing me. It's like okay. choose a lightsaber. I love it. Like like I love it. Y'all know it's like he's trying to choose a lightsaber. Light. He don't know what side he's gonna be on. Like, <laughs> side, side. Is he a general? <laughs> like it's it's confusing. Like, pick a light, man. Pick a light. <laughs> I have everything. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I have everything. <laughs> yeah. Um, Hot Wheels Unleashed Two. Is a contender. I've been playing that nonstop. I want to play it, but it feels like it, it's not enough content for me to justify spending seventy bucks for the PS5 version. I'd, ra- I'd um, rather just watch the videos on YouTube, right? What? Uh, it's definitely replayability because you can build your own track. Oh, seriously? I want. Yeah. Really? Okay. Like you have a story mode. I, I don't like the. Oh, look, we got a slot machine to get random things. Oh, we can get, you have to buy your cars. I like the upgrade right. stuff. What made Unleash 2 way better than the first one is they added in the jump factor, the double jump. Oh, hmm. sweet. And you can choose between <clears throat> two different boost styles one long bar or just the. Three to four boosts. Oh. But once again, just like the first one, you get the DLC cars and you're freaking God through there, through the story mode. How can I make one of y'all but fucking the, producers? How, you know, I'm tired of how did I, I, I'm sorry. I'm how did I forget there was a Hot Wheels game? Because <laughs> Hot Wheels is the, 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 the least talked about um, franchise ever. That's a shame, man. They're cool. I think like the cars, you kind of outgrow them after a while, but it's just, it's just fucking cool, man. How did we? How do? How I mean, did I not know there was a game? <laughs> and with Unleashed and Unleashed Two, they brought back one of my favorite series, Highway Thirty Five, and Accelerators. Okay. Cars. <clears throat> Which. I even put in my review of the game. 
I, I love what they have done. They need to fix some things. Like if you hit a wall, sometimes they'll walk you to that wall. They need to fix that. But I want some of the older games to come back it, as um, DLC content. I played on the 96, or no, sorry, 2000s um, Stone Track Driver for the PC. That was old. And then, of course, you had Highway 35, the video game on PlayStation, plus a bunch of other things. They could go all out for maybe Unleashed 2 or Unleashed 3, but Unleashed 2 has only been out for like a yeah. month. And people have been creating tracks like crazy in five different environments. But is that game good enough to fall into a running four game of the year? I to be uh, fair. Oh, go ahead, Mark. Personally, I don't think like I don't think it is because I think I don't know. Like game game of the year, I think has to really stand out. So, like you said, Boulder's three, Boulder's Gate three would have would have been the best thing in the world. I reckon. Like that took a lot of time to make, and I would see that running perfectly i feel like when you have stuff like say hot wheels it's like oh the nostalgia like does it really really need to oh, i can build my own tracks okay awesome but i would love a game that actually has a lot of work going into it as much as i love like genshin and all that sort of stuff i would have said more like Baldur's gate 3 would have wholeheartedly got game of the year hmm i mean what what about some of some of the, some of the other games that's been out for a while like um like uh, Destiny 2 and Warframe and, and, and games like those? I, I think those have been around for a long time. Like, they're... Yeah. Again, they're, they're like pick-up-and-play ones where, you know, if I want to play Destiny, I can play Destiny. I can download it now, play it. But again, not like, I think a, like tons of work has to go into these sorts of things because, you know, if it's popularity, like, oh, my God, I really love this. Cool. But does it really need it? Or is it just something that you want it to... to like? the feelings like nostalgia or just like, Oh, I think this game is going to be, be great. Like you could say the same things like with Fortnite. What does Fortnite warrant game of the year? Oh no. Oh no. It's, uh, it's gotten funner, but it's not a masterpiece by any stretch. Yeah. And like going back to what you said about nostalgia, Resident Evil 4 remake, hella fun, hella fun to play. Yeah. Kind of broken when it comes to mercenaries. That's, with a couple characters, but I agree, it's a nostalgia feel, not game of the year, um, shooter worthy. Well, actually, I put it over Call of Duty because Call of Duty is getting really, really stale. Hmm. I mean, the the newest one apparently has done really, really bad. So, but I, again, I wouldn't see that as like game of the year because. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know. I say I think it has to be worked really hard, and Baldur's Gate Three did a fantastic job of doing that. Yeah. Like, there's no matter no matter how many times you play it, I don't think you'll get the full ending. Like, there's so many different endings to it, which I think is is, is absolutely phenomenal. Like, it would take you so many times, mm. like a lot of work to even like go through to get like maybe like 50, 60. But apparently, there's like so many of them. Hmm. Wait, they got a new mobile coming out. A new Call of Duty mobile game coming out. Yeah. Even though they already got one, but you know, they got another I, one coming out. I, I've heard that their like sales only slightly spike whenever a new game comes out. Other than that, the whole franchise has just been on a decline for the last 10 years. The only thing that makes Call of Duty what, good is zombies, and that's it. Yeah. That's all that's the only reason anyone plays it anymore, because they just keep making the same game over and over again. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I think it needs a standalone zombies game yeah. where it has all the maps current and then they create new maps for it on occasion. I think people would be happy with that. Quit making yeah, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, no, man. I'm a Call of Duty man, man. Yeah. I was just about to say, I wasn't listening to y'all conversation. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I was having a sidebar <laughs> with the devs of this damn thing. Like, how did I make a call? And, uh, <laughs> yeah. And, and you're pretty out of it with your cold. I am. Soon, My brain so. is going oh, like bro. running five percent right now. <laughs> yeah. What is it with colds in the fall, man? 
I don't know, man. I miss the summer now. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. When the summer comes, to, this I'm is dying. supposed to be the best season ever. I can't take pollen and dust and stuff. So summer is a bad season. Spring is a bad season because it's all flowers and stuff. Yeah. So they try to kill me like they're happening. And now when it gets too cold, <laughs> I just need to live in a bubble. I'm dead ass serious. Uh, not to happen, man. Right. Winter. <laughs> winter, winter is going to hurt. Um, I'm a Virginian, and we get cold winters. This one coming up is supposed to be extremely cold even for our standards, man. Slight yeah. snow? More than slight. Like, um, I unless I'm able to go virtual with students, I'm, my business is gonna get butt fucked, man. <laughs> like, they're, they're, like people are gonna. There's gonna be stay at home orders. I'm pretty sure. Like, if not because of the snow, mm. probably because of just how fucking cold it'll be. It's just like people will be deciding. Yeah, no, you, you don't have to come to work today. No, no, no school. Stay it's home. Guys. Guys. We see a step. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, uh, they I feel bad for going. all of you. I, I really feel bad for all of you because you can't drive in snow. Hey, I'm, a, I'm from Wyoming. I know how to drive in snow, even with bad tires. So I just feel bad for all of you because you have snow. Like, <laughs> That's what I'm <laughs> saying. I don't know what snow is. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, y'all got your snow last year, California. I'll sled to work, man. I'm I'll in LA. To work. I'll make it work. We don't get snow, okay? Y'all got your snow last year, right? Nope. Oh, oh, I, don't I don't know what that is. What? I'll get I'll get a <laughs> sleigh, find some reindeer. <laughs> mm, let's go to our next yeah. topic, which is a little crazy here. Y'all already know where it's going, but um Olivia Hart. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> I'm so milky what? so milky oh, right. YouTube videos at the moment. <laughs> Hey, where's some horror music? Hold up. I need some music to set this set the stage. <laughs> Let's see. What's it sound like? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. I just... Oh, the next topic is on Olivia Hart, the <laughs> daughter of Tommy Oliver and the daughter of Kimberly Hart. Are the two a couple? Or are they separated? Are they baby daddy, baby mama? We would never know. Baby but mama. we're going to find out on today's episodes of the Chronicles of Cats No More. Cats, cats, no more. No more, no more. <laughs> Welcome to TED Talk. How y'all feel about Olivia Hart? <laughs> Okay, so she's probably existed before. I'm sure some obscure fanfic writer has given Tommy and Kimberly a daughter already. Yeah, I ever since seeing that image of uh, Olivia pop up, my like my mind went straight to I reckon that they've just done the whole thing of Bat in the Sun. Like I reckon it's a thing, and I will laugh if it's a thing, and I will literally call them out. But then I might start looking into like everything the Bat and the Sun have said that maybe that they uh, like Boom have gone. Oh yeah, I kind of like that idea. That's a nice idea. That is, I'm gonna take that for ourselves. Like oh. they do that. I mean, every. I mean, it sucks, but it happens. I mean, just look at Beyonce and Renaissance tour. I'm pretty sure Mama Queen that saw some smaller artist somewhere in Belgium and was like, I'm taking that. Because people do that to Beyonce. I mean, look at Madonna and her tour. She's like, shit, that Renaissance tour is very good. Let me make it the Walmart version of the Renaissance tour. <laughs> like, everybody's still for everybody. Everybody's in, is expired. So it's like, eh, but, you know what I mean? I mean, like, the, the thing is, like, if someone went up to the Beyonce and was just like, you took my song, and she's like, prove it. Uh, like, you, you couldn't. Like, not like, no. And even if they did prove it, and... Uh, let's say like yeah, you know, it's like oh the, the beats the same, the words are the same. You've just changed it. Like Beyonce can be like, oh, I'll take you to court. Like you know, we'll sue you. We'll do this, and they're gonna back down. But with like Boom Studios, if they just if they've stolen the idea, you just kind of think of like, well, does that mean that all your all your ideas are stolen from other people? Are you going around? Are your writers? I'm are your sorry, wait, wait, Beyonce. We said allegedly. We don't need y'all coming over here to sue us. With no billion dollars, allegedly. allegedly. Alleged, it didn't yeah. happen. We just saying, Beyonce, stay over there and with your movie. Don't worry, don't be ass. Sorry, Mama best. Queen. <laughs> but it, yeah, don't hurt us. We're just alleging over here. 
I'm going to say it's allegedly with Batman the Sun as well. Um, but no, like if if you think about it, like how many times have like have, have Boom turned around and gone, okay, well we're going to take that uh, that idea from someone because then what happens if Sh- Shattered Grid was someone else's idea and they went, yeah, we're going to take that and you know that voice isn't there. I feel like it's like really fucking shit. But again, we won't know until February when all that drops. And then if it is true, be like, oh, all right, you've got no original idea. There's people over there. Well done, uh, Amy Jo. Well, well fucking done on that one. I mean, was it really Amy Jo? Because again, like, okay, we got to go back to the reference interview because Aaron, he did say that um, Jason and Amy didn't have the best relationship. But from my standpoint, you know, Tommy was, Tommy, Jason was telling her stuff. I'm like, yeah, we got these plans and all this type of stuff. And she's like, <laughs> sure. Do you, do you reckon? Uh, Olivia Hart. <laughs> yeah, literally. Maybe, maybe we're going to have a baby together. Maybe what? we're going to have a baby together. I'm pregnant, but I want you to know it. Maybe it's that. Yeah. Oh, oh, didn't, didn't Tommy and Catherine have a son, too? Was yeah. it JJ, yeah, JJ. thing? Yeah. 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 SPD, yeah. Um, <clears throat> these alternate stories, man. Power Rangers just, like... Fucks with the timeline a lot, man. Yeah, it's like X Men universe. Yeah. Um, we just take it for what it is. I feel like after they just uh, they came up with the multiverse, like there's just been this common trend among Power Rangers of timeline. What a joke! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And of course, we've all watched the series. We've all read the com. Well, not everyone's read the comics, but you look at both of them and you go. There's plot holes there. I can. There's fix so that. many plot holes in Power Rangers. I mean, it's a plot hole with Power Rangers themselves. Just the title. When you walk in, <laughs> you're going to be in the plot hole. <laughs> Man, that's fine. That should be a whole new season. Power Ranger, correct yeah. the timeline. Like, <laughs> I, I'd be up for that. I would so hardly I, be up for the. It's like Avengers, like ain't it? All this damn time. I am. <laughs> I mean, with me, there's a part of me that's sort of. Well, actually, no, not part of me. I am kind of biased toward this because Tommy's always been my favorite ranger. I don't know if I'd say Kimberly's my second favorite ranger, but she's definitely a contender. And, like, I'd like to see a character that has traits of both of them. And I don't know. I just love seeing Tommy's story get continued. I feel like that was always some. I, I wish they'd done that more in Power Rangers. I wanted more Tommy. So more Tommy's always a good thing for me and not to mention the design is cool we don't know how the writing's going to be for the character yet if the if olivia hart's a good character then she's a good character if the writing's good the writing's good i mean like infinite possibilities man yeah that's why i'm excited to see um the eric reed character and how much of it is reflective of the tommy character and what's this original new character that they created for bat in the sun's legend of the white dragon because again it started off as tommy now it's Eric Reed because there's some bad blood between him and the Power Ranger people and all that. That's whatever. But is Eric Reed still just a placeholder for Tommy Oliver and all of those characters that we know from the Power Rangers universe that are here? Are is it completely like they did a 180, not in the 360, but a 180? It was like, okay, let's change everything. All that. Maybe we need a follow up interview because I need to know what the hell's going on with this Eric Reed character. <laughs> I think mm, uh, I definitely want to hear Amy Joe's side of the story because yeah. while I do think that Bat in the Sun is correct um, through the interview that we've seen, what what if Amy Joe wanted to do this to dedicate the idea that those two had? to jdf like this is a dedication yeah, that's a possibility but then if you do that then why completely remove aaron from it if if it was the two people that came up there the idea and then now you want to honor it it's kind of like why remove him now that happens a lot where you remove a third person from it but i would think it would be better collaborative mm-hmm. effort if they would have came out together with it you know but it's kind of like okay well now Aaron got his thing Legend of White Dragon and Amy now has her return which is her her love letter to Power Rangers you know what I mean and the um relationship she had with Tommy well with Jason and then the relationship Kimberly had with Tommy so I don't know it's convoluted it's complicated 
but they all have their own time. To see, yo. You know what I mean? But make, yeah. Like Tommy was cheating on Kimberly. Why she? Why he's with Cat? <laughs> well, it with the most recent episode we did on Southern Audio dramas for um, rewatching, it really did seem like it really did seem like that. Like Tommy didn't really care about Kim through the past couple episodes, and this one introducing Cat, it's like. Um, you're betraying Kim already. I say? mean, audio, he's saying audio drama. Oh, uh, I'm talking about the reviews that we do every Sunday. Sorry, <laughs> but even in the audio drama, it, it seems like they have a very, very toxic relationship. Yeah. Through and even in the main series. Like, how do these two people work? I mean, she did break up with him through a letter, so I mean, I would be salty too. Hmm. But I think that they're just they're just like we're in the multiverse. It probably worked out somewhere. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> going going back, like if if this was dedicated to Jade Yaff, there or you know Amy took his idea. It just shows that you don't have any like originality when it comes to it because. The way that when like this was like shown in the comic books it, or in the, the the preview, it was fantastic. It was like you know what happened much later on in in Power Rangers, and then all of a sudden you've got like the daughter who who go off on a journey and she becomes a Green Ranger. But I kind of really wanted to see something else. So if you if they've taken the idea, like Amy did, listen to JDF and went, okay, cool, let's let's take this on board. It just shows that. It was his idea that you've just kind of coined yourself and gone. Well, I'll uh, I'll keep this up, and that just shows that you don't have the original idea to come up with a story. Like her and her boyfriend, like her boyfriend probably knows a lot about comics, and maybe Amy does as well. But the fact is that they've not, you know, they've been given this chance, and then they've just copied someone else's idea. I would be more like, where was your originality? Where was this coming from? Yeah, it seems like there's only that's so what much I to do with the Power know. Rangers story, though. I mean. <laughs> it's not much you can do, so it's what again when we had the conversation with Aaron, I was like, it's so much you can do, but there's a fine line between you know, play, play, play. My brain ain't working, y'all know what I'm trying to say. That thing, yes, <laughs> and um, just the sheer amount of stories you could tell is so limited because there's only so much you could do with these characters. Well, you could easily have turned it around and gone, okay, well, maybe you know, something happens. Yeah. Okay. Let's say like a, a, a dimensional tear opens, and some of the like morphing teams get like sent over. Like, yeah, you could go down like the shattered grid type thing, but just bring in like other rangers and have like say, okay, go through Netflix or go through like Wikipedia or whatever, and just go, okay, well, I like Samurai. I want Operation Overdrive, Mystic Force, Super Mega Force, and then ha- like choose characters to come back to make this ultimate team to fight down. Maybe again, you choose like an ultimate bad guy from Power Rangers. You know, maybe you know the machine not the machine empire but you just choose maybe something that hasn't the arbiter hey yeah the arbiter. <laughs> that's what that's what they're doing with the arbiter right now yeah um but like anything you can easily turn around and create a brand new bad guy you don't have to follow the the inner workings of of power rangers come up with a whole thing that maybe is destroying memories like erasing rangers completely but like everyone forgets about it and then you only have a group of rangers left to go hey here you go uh we got a fight like there's so much you you could do or even look at like say you know like dc marvel like you could easily come up with a good idea but again like i feel like they've just gone what would pander to the fans let's make it uh, you know this will happen to all the people that wanted kimberly and tommy together Oh, it, just, it, it irritates me if, if this is the case. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's, it's so many questions that we can have without the product being out to even try to allude to answer some of them. Like, how old is this Olivia Hart? Is she's 12? Is she's 14? Is she's 27? Because then that can kind of give context as to, you know, when she was conceived and stuff like that. Because that's the rumors online. It's like, yo, what if the reason she gave him the letter, she had to break a window because she was actually pregnant at the time? Mm-hmm. Like, Ooh, that's a good theory, you know? And, and that definitely came across my mind when you were talking about it a little bit ago. It's like, wait, 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 hold on. Step back a moment. If she left, because we don't know what happened behind the scenes with these characters, so to speak. What if that was the case? 
what if she left to pursue her gymnastics career, but the gymnastics never happened because like, like you said, and the dear John letter was literally, Hey, I'm moving on with my life with a kid. See? Uh, hitting contacts. See, the, the problem is everyone like just then when you're thinking uh saying uh, everyone's saying like you know, what happens if she she wrote this idea or whatnot the whole idea of the story is that tom like, I've, I've pulled up the comic book because they gave like a little insight to it and it's the it changes it so you had the point where tommy uh, asks kim to marry her then they get married then rita and zed get married wait like ahead way too far like so let's say they, they get married in season two. Um, th they're in season one. So it's like the, then they go off to, was it? No, Serpentaro destroys the command center. You know, the rangers are like, what the hell? Uh, and then they take it up to the moon. And then it, it breaks down to, um, like you see it, like she changes the name to Emma Phillips. And then you see in the background, like this moon being destroyed. So it's the, the kind of aftermath of that. So none of the stuff of the Dear John letter happens. You know, you don't see... Um, like the Stone Canyon trio come in, everything is completely different. And this is a a what if it's a thing. If it was something like yeah. say everything happens that you see Cap and then Cap doesn't get there, you know, effectively we don't know if Amy gets the chance or uh, sorry, um, Kimberly gets the chance to go to uh, to the Pan Global Games. She could turn that all down. Like there's so much stuff in this comic book that when you guys were saying, it, I was like that that doesn't that doesn't happen. Like none of that story happens whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, you could do a lot because I, I I would make a comic where our TV show, animated show, where Tommy never got together with Kimberly and it was him and um Aisha and they had a kid, and then you know I would mm -hmm. do something like that or shit. Billy and Kimberly had the kids; they always so close. David Yost and Amy. Anyway, I would have Billy and Kimberly have a kid. That would be interesting. I mean, you could do a lot with the comics. You can go anywhere you want to keep his story alive but then i really want the mpr universe to get hit by a meteor and completely blow up and obliterate it <laughs> and we move on to another season yeah like, yes please uh it's way overused yeah it's same, it's same with tommy it's, it's the thing is it all sells I mean, but that's it the, is that's the thing mm -hmm. mpr sells and again we keep saying MMPR to Power Rangers is how Peter Parker is yeah. to Spider Man and Bruce Wayne is to Batman and Barry mm -hmm. Allen is to the Flash. Even though we have these other iterations, people. <laughs> Y'all heard that, right? Yeah. <laughs> See, I why are they... people calling me? <laughs> you know, the, the thing is, I'm the opposite. Like, I mean, I, I want other seasons besides MMPR. But I always want more Tommy, man. I think with with Tommy itself. Hold up, hold up, hold up, Mark. Look at the way Crispy is sitting up. Yeah, it's, it's, it's sitting right. Up. <laughs> He's doing the distinguished gentleman pose. <laughs> yes, yes, very distinguished. He is a single gentleman. You got that beer yeah. commercial pose. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Work, working on it, man. I'll Must get you buy. guys. I <laughs> <laughs> must buy. <man. laughs> yeah. So they'll 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 cancel Bud Light even harder if I'm in it. <laughs> is that still canceled? I thought that was completely like stopped. Like it's just everyone's forgotten about it now. So is it? I don't know. Like I've not heard anything rumor mill. I just generally thought, oh, okay, they're back. They're they back to it. They went out of I thought it was like now. like a few days and then it stopped. I thought yeah. I thought it was just a stock chasing thing, man. This time, raise your price. I mean, you don't give people to buy it. You know, not like that. <laughs> What's that but, gonna call that? Marketing. Yeah. Yeah. See, so going back to what I was saying, like I I, I think people would be more open to more Tommy. But re since like the Bandai days when they, they brought out the legacy stuff, it's always been Tommy. Like everything is Tommy focused. And I feel like if you retired my MMPR for a while and then moved on from making Tommy your your star boy, it would be better. Yeah. You know, people would be more accepting yeah. for it. Everything has been MMPR focused, and again, I know nostalgia sells, and that's what Hasbro, Bandai, and all that are thinking. But you've also got to think oversaturation doesn't sell, and everything's been Tommy. There's more in the Lightning Collection. You've got more MMPR figures than you have any other figures. Um, 
in with Bandai, like the the moment that they moved on to Zia, which was a, which is a fantastic season, they then sold the line. Mm, yeah. And I remember the day when they announced the the Golden Communicator and the Golden uh, the Zionizers and the Golden Power Staff, and everyone was like, "Oh my God, I'm so thankful that we're moving on. Next, we'll get in space and stuff and Turbo and blah blah blah." And then they were yeah. like, "Hasbro own this. There you go, boys and girls. You you can have that for for the end of time now." Um, yeah, no, I, yeah, I feel that. I mean, Tommy, he, and again, favorite Ranger, but like, I mean, you don't always have to make him the main character. Like, give someone else's story a chance to shine. Like, he can be there, but like, I mean, they've got the other Rangers are cool too. Give them story time. Yeah, give them spotlight. Yeah, and I, I know, I know what Tommy means to people, and I know what you know JDF means as well. Yeah. But I just, yeah, like I agree. I think that you could easily market it this way. It's the reason why I thought Beast Morphers was going to do so well because Hasbro were going to turn around and go, this is our product. This is our baby. This is the one that we've started with. And then they went, oh, Mighty Morphing. Hello, gobble, gobble, gobble. And now it's just like, uh, like I'm sick and tired of it because, yeah, it's I, I wanted something else. You can have the best marketing team in the world. That make that make them make other people go shit. I really love Mystic Force Operation Overdrive or whatever. You can easily get people to love it more, but they won't. It's just my it's just Mighty Morphin all the time. And let's be honest. I mean, Mighty Morphin, the season that started it off, we're all nostalgic about it. It's fucking stupid. Yeah, I mean that's part of its charm. But it's a stupid season, and it's far from the best one. <laughs> give us more, R give us more in space or RPM, like you know, do what those did. Yeah, exactly. Like when you when you think of Tommy, like, and you can have this, you can have this discussion with any fan that is a Tommy fanboy, and there'll be, and it'll be something like, Tommy whipped the Rangers. He beat all five. He's the best. And then <laughs> when you when you go, okay, well, first of all, he was very forgetful. He wasn't there when his team needed anyone. Um, he almost killed his team multiple times. Nah, but like he beat the he, he beat the Rangers five to one. Like he whipped them. Okay. That's the only thing people will remember about him is that yeah. he beat five five teenagers single handedly. Exactly. I had an argument with someone, um, and it was on Twitter, and and they were like, "Yeah, Tommy, uh, Tommy beat them. You know, he he was stronger." Um, he beat them in the Megazord. And I went, okay, first of all, one, um, if you imagine you were the, your Zordons only told you that you were the only five Power Rangers on the, in the world. Um, and then suddenly you see a guy that's dressed just like you in green. Then he jumps into the Megazord, sucker punches all of you, because for that split second, you're not going to be like, holy shit, there's another one, guys, because you don't know if he's good or not. He then, in an enclosed space, which is not bigger than maybe a car, comes in and beats the crap out of you or throws you off. Everyone's still <laughs> going to be like, what, what the hell? So Tommy isn't this like amazing person. He sucker punched them all. And, you know, what the fuck? It's just like, why would you do that? Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, no. oh, yeah. <clears throat> and, of course, making him the villain that shattered the grid, that, that escalated that so yeah. much. Like, he's already powerful enough as the Green Ranger. We all saw it. Okay. But guess what? His powers were still with Rita. And she could have just taken him away just like that. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no, no. And, yeah, Lord Draken. Now you've got Lord Draken. And who, who, who will never disappear because he's now a beloved character very much like Tommy. Right. Oh, Oh, we dead on that topic. Just like nothing. That topic is like <laughs> moving <dying>. on, <laughs> right? I mean, in, in my final thoughts, I'm looking forward to see what how it plays into, um, like because we got Min as well from once and always. Yeah, is mean, she gonna she be won. in the comic? You know, yeah, you know, you know she was a one off, there. which is really ridiculous at this point. You introduce a whole bunch of things that went nowhere. Yeah, I mean, if so. if they did it, I you you're not going to see her as a ranger. I feel like there may be a offhand comment or something, but I think a lot of people want to see all these characters that we've done it. Let's give Min one more ride. Let's give this one more go. Let's bring JJ into it. It, it 
Amy Jo Johnson probably never watched one. Well, maybe she did watch Once and Always, but you've got to think by the time that she was writing a comic, Min was just you know no one really knew it. Like everyone thought you know, Min was another character. So and plus like it, I, I don't know I. It, I think Olivia would overshadow Min anyway because that's what people are mainly focused on. Right, right. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I didn't mean to burst anyone's bubbles. I didn't mean to be mean or anything. Ty, sorry. No, no. That, that's that's why I brought it up is because we don't fully no, know. And we're it's still sketchy about everything. Yeah. I mean, I as I say, I really like the the way the comics written. I really like what they're doing. And that's the reason why I'm backing it. Like originally, I was going to drop my subscription down to something like just one hard co uh, hard back cover, but I was like, no, I kind of want to see. It. I want to. I want to help support this. And if they make uh, Jason the father of Olivia, oh, I will back everything that Amy Jo Johnson does within reason. <laughs> and just screw no, no, everyone. I... See, you're only going to back the book. No, like I'm being a dummy and doing a little. Okay, what are the tiers? Because I've seen the tiers. One is like a hard cover, cover a soft cover. Is that for all issues or just one? Right. Let me uh, go through this because I've, I've been talking about it. Um, okay, so. Oh, wait. We need me to do this it. right. There you go. So you ready? Okay. Is this, are you putting horror music in there? Okay. Year one. 25 dollars. Art David Pack. Tier 2, $35, gives the return exclusive hardback cover. Tier 3, $50, complete soft cover set. Tier 4, $55, the return exclusive variant set, which has every single Power Ranger listed on there in the Zords. Tier 5, which is $60, you get the return slipcase hardcover, which comes with the Mighty Morphing Power Rangers, the return direct reverse exclusive slipcase hardcover book, and the pink print set, which has Draken holding Kimberly's helmet, Kimberly in the, uh, with the Dragon Shield holding a helmet, Ranger Slayer, the ultimate one from another comic, uh, Ranger Slayer, Kimberly, and then for some strange reason, Pink Ranger, Morphing Master. <laughs> then we have Tier 6, $85 complete cover hard set, which comes with both hard, co uh, hard book covers and the, the complete set of prints. For Tier 7, $150, you get the uh, Mighty Morphing Power Rangers The Return direct reverse exclusive slipcase cover. You get trading cards and also a Pink Ranger print set. And then, yes, the trading cards. Tier 8, $200, you get Mighty Morphing Power Rangers The Return, Direct Boom Reverse, Exclusive slime Signed Slipcase, Hardback Cover, Pink Ranger print, print Set, The Trading Cards, and the Dan Mora Mighty Morphing Power Rangers The Return Art Print. Tier 9 is $275, which comes with the book, Hard, Co uh, hard Case, the Direct Reverse Exclusive um, Hard book again then you get the pink uh, ranger print set the trading cards the um the uh, artwork again for the other co comic and then you get the ar enhanced enamel pin which is in the, for the in the thing with the morpher tier 10 is 550 dollars you get pretty much a lot like you get the hard book hardback covers the pink pink set a 9.8 cgc graded um comic book you get the full foil variants, the 9.8 graded book as well, a metal box tin, a exclusive art print, again, art to be revealed. You get, now this is the one thing I fucking wanted, the return script yeah, book, me and you both. Which, is, which would be really cool to see. Trading cards, and then the pin. For tier 11, the last one on the list, $1,100, you get hard book, a hard back cover signed but different ones which is mainly black and pink with a nice little bit of art in the middle then you get the six print sets you get the one uh, one is 9.8 graded um which is sealed which is the return variant set full foil variant a blank copy or blank um cover issue of the first issue of the return 
Elite Pink Full vari uh, Foil Variants. 9.8 CGC graded from the variant, uh, or from the vault, so I don't know which one it's going to be. Trading cards, pin, the artwork, the metal box, the return script book signed, and if you backed it on day one, you got the exclusive pterodactyl power bow thingy, which, yeah, and that's it. And yeah, that, that's pretty much every single thing. You said $1,000. One thousand one hundred dollars <laughs> is the 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 highest tier you can go for. Who was paying that much? Ty. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm going for the two hundred dollar one. I want to get the five fifty one, just like with Mark. We both want this. Yeah, I, I want that one, but they're not going to release it. Waiting for but, but you, um, I did message the kickstarter and said hey um i know it's in the 550 tier but is there any way you can make the script a um add-on like the day one pin and they're like well maybe i'll, I'll bring it up to my higher i'm just mad at you said a thousand dollars for tier 11. now which one is it that i could just get all the stories i don't care about the extra shit. i just want to read it so like, which one is that? To answer one question beforehand, like 35, sixty-one right? people backed the one thousand one hundred dollars one. So that's that one, and there's only um, fourteen of them left. Um, this all comes out in December. If you wanted the story, the uh, the normal comic book comes out in February. That shit said December two thousand twenty-four. Yeah, it's so they can have hardback. But it's also done so you can, if you read the comic book and thought it was shit, you can't cancel your thing because the thing comes out. I'm just stuck oh. on a thousand dollars. Like y'all put a thousand dollars in this shit, y'all. How many people you say? Sixty four. Sixty one YouTube people. course bullshit, man. Sixty one people. Yeah. Stupid, dude. dude. Well, <laughs> oh my god. I mean, like it, those technicalities see, make it sound like some YouTube course bullshit, man. I ain't paying for that. Like I, what? I think what you get is not too bad, but again, people want to back it. Like they they want to support the queen of of uh, Power Rangers. I understand, no. but I'm not for that thousand them. dollars, they didn't really put much in an incentive of a thousand dollars. You still get the comics, but you get a pin, you get a four trading cards that you won't be able to use or trade with anything else. You get a a cover. Like now with. 22 Any things tier. you get for that. Is anything an autograph? So you have the script book, yes. which is the one thing I, I want that signed. Then you okay. have the, I think it's either one or maybe both of the hardback covers signed. Um, it'd be cool if it was signed in pink and it was actually in, in um, actually on the thing, not like it could uh, fair, um, wear off. Um, what else do you get? Yeah. I think that's it. But I mean, the, the problem is, like when they say that you can get these graded, the fact is that if you got comic books that are graded, like say Spider Man, Batman, or whatever, and you have like a nine point eight, then you know that's going to be, I think, worth a lot of money. But I don't think this is going to be worth a lot of money much later on. So like <laughs> I'm not gonna like if I sold this and was like, hey, you get guys, you know, I'm gonna sell this for two thousand, three thousand dollars. I don't think it would sell. I really, I really I don't, don't understand the grading thing. See, that's the reason why it's taking me so long to even get started on my comic. I have the story and everything done, but to actually get it like done, because I'm so ignorant to what the hell this stuff is and the process and the grading, and you need yeah. five variant covers and you need this. And I'm looking like, can I just tell a story and put it out? Like, why, why I gotta do all that? Yeah. I think when it comes to grading, it, it's people want it for like the most pristine edition. Like, if it's a perfect ten. People are like, shit, I really want that. You know, yeah. like, can you imagine getting an issue one of Spider Man or issue one of Superman, like the original comics, like a perfect 10? That stuff goes for like millions of dollars. And that's what some people go for. Okay, it's so like, what's how... the grading though? Is it the texture of the <coughs> paper or is it like the condition of the comic? It will be so, the, everything. Um, so it... the grading is, is the, is the, condition of the comic itself it, it needs to be in like literally absolute pristine condition no no bends no no creases no tears no cracks no nothing that thing needs needs to be like non-touched at all 
Okay, yeah. so just lamest terms. So the everybody gets a grade ten comic when they buy it the first time. Um, not necessarily. Almost. So like, if I went to a comic book, it, it was also you've got to think like from factory to shop or factory to warehouse. If mm-hmm. say like the little part of the corner is dented, or like it's got a little bit of a crease that not many people would notice, then that could be like say a five point three. If it's you know, it would literally have to be like hot off the press, sealed straight away. But then again, you could have like say something that happens at the factory of printing where it may not be as great. It's such a weird thing, like you know, it's like say getting a Pokemon card, like it has to be 100% thing, like you know, a graded 10 Charizard or whatever could be like literally worth millions of dollars. And some people only go after these sorts of ones because they want the, the a 10, they want the perfect card of it before anyone but again like the slightest print the slightest bend and it's not a perfect 10 well it also goes further than that with trading cards um say you have a pokemon back you know it has the pokeball it has the slight but the lines could be slightly off they'll make it a misprint and that could go for hundreds of dollars <laughs> in nice mm-hmm. condition or that slight if it's all centered that even brings up the quality of it um i'm not sure how they grade comics it might be the same way but for me i just want a comic that is signed by the the creator because i don't know when i'm gonna go see amy joe okay i got a question if i I get the i had the damn chance last year if i get this tier thing right now right are they gonna yeah. take my thousand dollars out my account right now, or is it when it comes out? So it'd be. It will take it out December fifteenth. I thought it was, I yes, sometime fourteenth or fifteenth. Check my screenshot. Okay, let me go to case. Are you gonna spend a thousand dollars and get all that stuff? <laughs> I just want to rate it. Kickstarter. No, I'll put it all the, these yeah. things are are in a um, add-ons as well, which is why. I, uh, I'm begging. I'm begging them to uh, put it in. Uh, Season of Shadow Hunters deceased a... on Zombie Side Game. Oh, you can put everything on Kickstarter, huh? Yeah, it, it's it's a very good. I think Kickstarter is a very very good thing to do. Like uh, if you want to start a project, yeah, you, know, you you can do tons of stuff. Like some get backed. Like the only thing that I, I I haven't really backed much on on Kickstarter. I'm sorry, I'm over here scratching. I know the camera's on. I'm scratching my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I need another producer. <laughs> Cut, the Cut, the Cut the camera. Cut the camera. Episode our episode title: The Scratching Name. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I, uh, I I've only backed Shemu three, which I wish I didn't now. Yeah. As much as I, I was about to say. Yeah, like, uh, on that, 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 that's, said, how deep is your regret? I didn't regret it. It's just I can't play it due to something that happened in my life. D- okay, so December twelfth is when it'll end and collect yeah. the money. Oh, okay, I see. It seems like they pledged fifty thousand dollars, but they already got over four hundred thousand um, dollars. Yeah. Now, okay. Mm-hmm. This whole education episode at this point, this is educating Mr. Peace because he's ignorant on comic books. When you go to Kickstarter, right, and then you want people to fund your your project, is it because you write, just say I have an issue, five comic, five issues, right, in my comic book story. Do I make and create those five issues? And then I tell people if they want a copy of these five, I put it on Kickstarter so that can fund the printing. Like, is that how this works? It's It's more, I think, funding the entire project. So, like, say, for example, you want to put your comic up there. You have to give, like, incentives for people here. So, like, say you, you do all the hard work and you go, so this is how much the artist is going to cost. This is how much it's going to be to print. And let's say you, you know, it, it costs you $10,000 to do this. Then you would put incentives up there, you know, like special limited edition stuff, um, random things that, you know, people would go, oh, shit, I really like that. Um you know, it's it, it's a big thing. So it, it, I think it just helps with the, like the production. Like you could just print it off normally and be absolutely fine, but it just gives that little bit of it, like kind of extra hope, like a little bit of extra help as well. Yeah. 
And that's why I like Kickstarter. Yeah. Okay, I'm looking um, at them now. It, it seems like there's only four stories in this, four issues in this yeah. story. It's not the the biggest one. I think it's more people want the the hardback editions. It's the reason why, like normally, like I, I I'm not a big fan of like the Pink Ranger in, in my morphing, but the the hardback covers got me, and I was just like, damn, that's really really cool. Because I was only originally going to go for one, and then I bought the print set because. I might put them on my wall or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then all of a sudden I was like, oh no, I might as well go for two hardback covers because it's roughly what I'd be paying for that one and no, it's six six pair of posters effectively. Okay, I'm <clears> looking <throat> at the complete pink hard set, hard cover set, right? It seems like it only comes with the return hardcover and then also comes with Mighty Morphin pink hardcover. And it says it's supposed to be 160 pages for pink and then 128 pages for the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers to return. So, yeah. so what you're getting what you're getting is like um ages ago when when Boom started doing their kind of their comic book run, they did a thing called uh Power Rangers Pink, which was a shit story. Like it, yeah, it fucking it was. irritated the shit out of me. Um it was something like um Kimberly, uh, Kimberly's gone off to do a secret mission. Um, she gets Zordon's sword, and then it gives her, her and other people brand new Power Ranger powers, and then they combine like really shit parts of Megazords together uh, to fight Goldar in his version of Cyclopsis or something like that. Mm -hmm. And that's when you see the Dear John letter of like, she doesn't want to return back to Angel Grove to see Tommy or anything like that because, you know, she gives him the Dear John letter, but she, secretly she's going off to do other Ranger stuff or whatever. I, that's all I can remember. I fucking hated it. Like, okay. Um, you for, you forgot her mother turning into a lizard. Man. Okay, we're gonna do this live on paper right now on um <laughs> yeah. stream. I'm gonna do the hardcover pink complete set. It says eighty five dollars, right? Because I yeah, don't justify that thousand dollars or five hundred, or yeah, unless I want that damn script. That's that's what I went for. Well, I'm like me and Mark are begging. For yeah, like <laughs> the fact is, like what I this is what I normally do. Like I like putting like comics and stuff on my wall. And there's like one or two ones that I really like. And I really like Ranger Slayer. She's one of my favorite characters. So when mm -hmm. I see something like, oh, you could get an entire set, I'm now tempted to put another $20 down to get another edition set so I can put one or two on my wall. You know, Ranger Slayer, oh, okay. I think, is a fantastic character. But the way I see some of this sort of stuff is like, is it worth my money? Is it worth it? And the story could be absolutely dog shit. Like, it could be the worst story ever. And then I'll be like, shit, I feel really bad for <laughs> for spending money on this. Um, and and that's, that's exactly how I felt about it, too. I'm like, oh, uh, okay, so they're, they're going to kickstart it. Um, what are the rewards? Well, it's asking right now for an add-on. And it's saying, do I want to add on a pink Power Ranger Day 1 enamel pin for $15? So let me add that. Mm -hmm. This says something about a pink like Ranger print set. Yeah, don't know you don't need is. to order the print set because if you've gone for the A5 dollar one, then mm -hmm. you're going to get that print set anyway. I know um, she should do an exclusive figure with it with the comic book. That'd be dope. I and think I reckon that I reckon that could be one of the things if they hit the the maximum one because they also have stretch goals in this as well. So if they reach like say a top like say let's say they they reach a million dollars and that was their top secret one, it'll be something like like separate. It'd be something like. Um, you know, here is a, a figure for, or something, but like most of them are really shit. Like, you know, day one enamel pin, apparently, if you got it on day one, um, free digital copy when it drops, then you get all the hard covers and soft cases up, updated, uh, exclusive team QA, a new print added to all physical release, uh, re all physical copies reserved over $50, free sticker set. Like, who the fuck wants a sticker set? <laughs> Me, I mean, I want to put I it like on my stickers. computer. <laughs> I, I like stickers, but I prefer pins. Yeah. In this yeah, really thing. Is better. Um, yeah. I a prelude story. Yeah, that's if they hit five hundred thousand. But the thing is, I would have swapped. So day one pin, I probably wouldn't, because everyone's going to get that. I would have put the sticker set at five uh, fifty thousand. It, it's, just, it's. I think that's a, a better way of doing it. Um, I think the stickers and the enamel pin, the day one enamel pin, should have been together, yeah. if anything. 
Um, Q and A with the team would is going to be kind of cool, but th that's probably going to be in the back of I the comments. I think it's a video. I, I doubt they're going to do a live stream. I think it'll be a video or something. Or yeah, maybe if it is just written. But then again, like I would rather if if it's reached that one and I get a few a free Q and A, I would want a, a, a video like sent to me. You know, because okay, that I just did a hundred bucks for this shit. That's what I did. I just pledged a hundred dollars. See what I get. Um, yeah, we're gonna see how this goes. Oh, shit, you're doing it right now. Yeah, I just did it live. Yep, live on stream. It. Now, the thousand dollar one I'm looking at, but I don't see anything incentive. Now, if hmm. I just get that, that's when I come to the script that y'all want it. So, the one with that comes with a script is. Five fifty. Yeah. To be fair, like I'm not gonna pledge five hundred and fifty dollars. Like normally I only have like a set amount. So all the ones that I've done in the past, card games, Shemu three, like oh, you... if I'm gonna pledge that much, it better be Resident Evil Four, the board yeah. game. I have Resident Evil One all complete in a tote. And that was worth every penny. Well, the, the the Shemu three one, I because I, I love the game. Um I, I really, really, really wanted. Um, oh, what was it? Yeah, I really wanted like the ultimate one, but I didn't have ten grand to drop, and I probably would have. So I, I would have hated it if I dropped ten grand. Uh, <laughs> I would have hated. I would have hated myself. Um, what did yeah, you get? We just want to do that because, like I said, we could get that script. But um, yeah. yeah, yeah, they they reached like something like five point five million dollars or something like that. And like, what was the ten grand one? What was the ten grand one? This is that. This is history in the making. Mm. <laughs> oh no, yeah, for ten grand, you could have had dinner with the creator, and I think that would have been really cool. But I would have to fly myself out to Los Angeles, um, and I would have got like a ten thousand dollars to do what? So ten thousand was... to have dinner with with the creator, but you got to fly yourself out. Hell, the fuck. yeah, hell the fuck now. Ten thousand dollars when they include my room, my airplane ticket, and my food. <laughs> so the there, hell, there was, right? So there, there was three that's a mortgage together. payment. <laughs> right. So there was three of them. There was dinner with the creator, and then get a Shemu script, <sighs> which had been pretty good. Uh, no, uh, if I went for another route and got ten thousand dollars, I could have been in the game myself, which I think would have been mm. really cool. Twenty thousand um, dollars to be 20 in the game. No, like the, there was like three tiers of two, like three different ten thousand ones, so not all together. Oh, I was um, about to say, there's no. I'm gonna pay you ten thousand dollars so I could be in the game. Do I get kickback for how much this game sells? I don't know. Uh, I don't Please. think so. To be fair, the, the game sold really badly because it was so <laughs> boring. Like, uh, it it when you play the game because it's meant to be like it's it one of the most at the time it was one of the most expensive games ever made. Mm -hmm. Um. And it was so unique. It was so good. And it followed the story of that you have to go find your father's killer. And beautiful game. But when it came to the third one, because it finished so like so abruptly, it was like, what am I meant to do? And apparently the, the third one is exactly the same. And it hasn't changed whatsoever. And it, it just got absolutely shat on. Um, it was like, if you want to progress, you have to play all these games. And you know to earn money and i got so bored of it and then I, my, my friend died at the same time and not because of the game by the way and i was playing the game and i was like i can't play this anymore because i'm so depressed i'm so I, emotionally like drained from this game as well and i was just like yeah i've never finished it i bought the limited edition copy and i thought i was going to get some really cool stuff but it's like you just got a slip case for the game um and then i bought like the limited edition thing that came with a nice little package but yeah, like oh, this game is so balls. Like you can buy it on Steam for like probably like a couple of dollars now, which is a shame because if I can okay. do so much in this game, <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, like, nah, not worth it. No, uh, but to be not not like Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, where or um, heck, even um, Shovel Knight, mm. where both of those were Kickstarters at one point and. They just blew they up. Did, like Kickstarter does really well, and the fact yeah, is, I can you see, have the like this is not bad. It's eighty five dollars yeah. for all four issues. That's about what twenty bucks a pop. So you know, it's kind of like a good deal or whatever here. So that's why I got that middle tier to try to justify spending, you know, 
money on this comic that I don't know anything about. So I think if you guys do want to support this campaign and you don't really want to fully invest into it yet, the $85 one is the best way to go. Yeah. I think yeah. I, I much would have preferred if this was... And I think the, this is the reason why they've done it. Is like if the money comes out, you know, this year, if you get the comic, because you can buy the comic books. Like they're coming out in February, I think. And if if you don't like it, then people can go. Oh, I want to take my money back because it's not worth that me backing this. And I think that's the reason why they're doing it in a, in a little bit way because there have been stuff where I've bought stuff on Kickstarter. It was just like the game's coming out tomorrow. That you know now we're taking the money for it. So it's kind of like a, we trust you enough. But with the way that you know, this story could be amazing or it could be absolute shit, <laughs> I have no, we have no way of telling. So that's the reason why they're taking money. But I am also kind of glad in some way that this shows that if you're an original ranger or maybe a ranger in, in, in the future, you could make your own story like this. And obviously it's got the backing of the fans because if you're a fan of Overdrive, Dino Charge, Dino Fury, if they sat down with Boom and said, let's make our own story, uh, you know, oh cool yeah we'll we'll kick start it we'll see what it's like you can you can gauge it i mean 45 minutes and that's that whole thing was backed and it's still growing now which is really yeah. really impressive <clears throat> you see they just got a dummy to do it on air just backed it so <laughs> yeah. well, as we're talking. And, and the and regardless of the pink uh universe or the reunion universe the comics in general have taken a very strange turn and are actually pretty yeah, yeah. to re read. And I think it's, I think it's because you can tell a story that you you know you couldn't really tell in uh in, in in live action, you know, that would cost thousands and and stuff like that. And I mean, I remember when Power Rangers first dropped its first uh, issue zero, and I was at my comic book store. <laughs> And the guy was just like, oh, yeah, we're not going to get these in. And I was like, oh, why? He's like, yeah, it's going to fail. Like, it'll last a couple of issues and it's going to drop off. And no, it, it's been what going for a good couple yeah. of years. They're on issue yeah. 114, which, again, doesn't sound a lot. But in comic yeah. book terms, that's ongoing. And it's not like we finish this one arc and then the story disappears. It's mm -hmm. a continuation. Yeah. You've got, you've, got, mm. you've got the actual actors doing it. Could you imagine? I, I imagine that if JGF was still here, and he did his own version, and they wanted to do this like, whatever story. That would be back. I guarantee yeah. that would be funded within ten minutes. Oh yeah, I feel like a lot of um, probably over. Yeah. I feel I feel like a lot of what makes it work too. No executives to meddle. No censors to ruin everybody's fun. You just get full creative freedom, and whether that works or doesn't, the heart's going to be there, which guarantees it's going to work with at least some demographic. Hmm. Yeah. Great. Look at how they're doing uh, Darkest Hour. Now, I really like the concept story of like the grid being infected and changing them. And you see that all the yeah. way through. I, I hate the costumes. I absolutely <coughs> fucking hate the costumes. It's like, the, I don't like the, the red eyes because that reminds me of Sentai. It's like, oh, look, they're evil. And it's like, you've got a really nice helmet. Boom, red eyes. No, like, I would have liked it if they changed the 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 suits designs a little bit but i'm really enjoying the story i really want to see where it goes and that's going to be an entire year so it's not going to be over in like say a couple of months and again you can have offsprings like you, uh, offsprings, you can have offshoots look at like say how marvel does it like if you want to read this then you have to read like five other comics and this can carry on for such a long time and i feel like this is going to keep the fandom happy but also if you're not into comics you've then got to track down a shit ton of them but which then you can just go buy the hardback copies anyway and get every single issue. So it just depends if you want to go normal route or if you want to go, you know, I want everything like right now. I feel like yeah. I'm in the camp where I'm going to support this one just because, but I usually be like, okay, if I don't know anything, I will super mega force it, but I kind of like, I don't want to keep super mega forcing stuff. <laughs> so <laughs> I just got to support it this time and spin the coin. So that's where I'm at yeah. with it. I'm just going to wait till it comes out, see what reviewers I trust say about it, and then I'll decide whether or not I want to give it my money. See, I 
I'll, I'll just, I'll just, we'll, me and Mark will spoil it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to be reviewing Thank it. But if, if, I mean, if you want a really good person to kind of go over past issues or stuff now, Deoxy360, you know, he does a really, really good kind of breakdown. And he's now become the comic book guy. So he, he really does break it all down properly. So yeah. if you wanted to kind of like jump in and go back and see stuff, he will review the comics and actually give his thoughts. And it's not like, oh man, this is fucking shit. It's like, he'll break it down properly. You know, it got me, I think, last month to buy a comic online. I'm going to review this right now. And I didn't. <laughs> but I was like, well done, Ash. Well done, Ash. You got me to spend like three quid on a comic book. Well done. I'm not mad at it. I would definitely, you know, have to check out more of these comics. Because I do like some of the things they're doing um, with it. Yeah. But it's just me. Like, oh, I've never been a big comic book person. And it's funny, but like, well, aren't you writing your own? Like, how you don't like comics? Because you could like some and still do it. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. that's a whole other topic in itself of doing something you don't like. Like, don't we all go to work for a paycheck? Who really likes their job? No <laughs> one. But, um, uh, yeah, that's an understatement. But yeah, I like mine. Comics, something different. Well, you're a teacher, you have to like yours. Yeah. <laughs> you you kind of got it. That's how you survive. Right. But, I, I do prep and give pizzas for a living. <laughs> well, I yell at a whole bunch of dotes running past me in the international airspace. I could get shot down any moment. I'm like, stop running and yelling. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Oh, and I'm interested in this return. I'm really bored. interested in seeing this story that takes place over four issues, which for me is like four episodes. You know what I mean? So yeah. I want to see who these characters are. I want to know who Olivia is. Is she, how old is she? Like, <laughs> Is she from that coinless universe? Is she from the Draken universe? Or is so many questions I need answers? So yeah, I'm gonna check it out. But I'm yeah. down. I'm down for anything that. Um, I mean, Power Rangers is by far is not a perfect franchise by any stretch of the imagination, but it's what they do is very inspiring, and anybody who knows what they're doing, who runs with that inspiration. I think they deserve all the support that can be given. So I'm all for this comic. Yeah. Go ahead, support if y'all want it. Hell yeah. By the way, uh, if we can fit one more thing in here, what do you guys think of Dave Filoni becoming the CCO of Lucasfilm? Don't kill it. Same. <laughs> Just yeah, don't kill Star it. Wars again, <laughs> what I gotta say. Yeah, just yeah. I'm down. Listen to the fans. Yeah, I mean, Filoni in general, he he does know what he's doing with Star Wars, and he's not his writing's not perfect. But I mean, this is the same guy who gave us the Clone Wars, and yeah, he did have help from other Cartoon Network level writers with that. But he does care about the project. He was trained by Lucas in writing stories that specifically work for Star Wars. And now he's got so much more just power over how these projects go, so much more oversight. And like uh, he just more of an ability to actually get things done without any executive meddling in the way. I do kind of worry about certain problems with his writing that have cropped up in other shows. And I think as long as Kathleen Kennedy is part of the equation, he we're not completely out of the woods with Star Wars yet. But um, yeah, this is this is nothing but good news. Otherwise, I'm down for this. Yeah, I do like some of his episodes that he directed directly with um, Ahsoka. They were yeah. actually pretty good, and real written and done as well. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I I was about to ask, um, which Clone Wars? Um, the three D series. The two D one was Gendy Tartakovsky. Right, 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 right. I like the 2D more yeah, than the same. 3D. Guilty. No, games. same. Yeah, it's just Gendy. You can't top. You can't top what because, he does, man. And, and a lot of uh, PR fan uh, projects should look at that series with a huge um, inspiration because they took thirty seconds and told the story. 30 seconds. Yeah. Right. That, that's crazy. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. I got sidetracked. I know my brain is on farts right now. <laughs> <laughs> when I got an email Not from Kickstarter, it was like, 
a new message about Mighty Morphin Power Rangers to return the new comic book series. We would like your feedback. On what? It's not even out. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do y'all want? Yeah, they they do that. What is that about? Uh, we would like your feedback on your pledge. Oh yeah, they they send stuff. Yeah, it's, like, it's cool. I mean, Jesus Christ! You know, like that when you at the gas station, how I pump your gas, and the there's a transient there who's like, "Yo, can I have a dollar?" And you give them a dollar, you think that's gonna satisfy? They come and go. I need fifty cents. Yeah. Like, what can you, you let me breathe first? Like, nope. Jesus Christ. <laughs> like now, nah, we need your feedback, and we need it right now. Right, like you're not getting anything from me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And on that bombshell, we have come to the end of this very interesting conversation. Cool, and cool, episode. Cool, yeah. Oh, <laughs> we all know what that means. Bye. See ya. Catch you, nerds, later around the globe. <laughs>